Hello and welcome to TechSnips. You are watching basic configuration of BGP on a single router with two ISPs. In this video we're going to see how to set up the most basic BGP configuration on a router to provide your business with redundant internet connectivity. Let's take a look at our network diagram. Here we have a single edge BGP router that is connected into our ISPs, KTT networks, and tech networks via Ethernet handoffs. Now, the network is using provider independent IP address space assigned by Aaron, so we don't have to rely on uh, our ISPs for IP addressing. In this configuration, both Ethernet handoffs are gig E, but capped at 100 megabit each, so we will make use of both links as best as we can. We're also going to be accepting full BGP routes from each ISP along with the default route. Both ISPs uh, basically provided us with a management IP block so that we can connect our router on similar segments, and as, as you can see here, uh, we're going to be connecting using 192.168.128.0.29 uh, between KTT networks and we're going to be using 172.30.10.0/29 between tech networks. Okay, so let's take a look at this configuration in action. Okay, so we're consoled into our edge router here and the first thing I want to do is make sure that the ports connecting into our ISPs are shut down before we uh, complete our BGP configuration. And I also advise you to uh, print out the network diagram attached with this video so that you can follow along with the IP addressing and the, and the AS numbers that we're going to be using. Okay, so Aaron provided us with a slash 22 IP block and in order to prevent routing loops we need to make sure that we create a null zero route for that slash 22 and we're going to create more specific uh, static routes that point. We're going to start off by turning on our BGP process and we're using AS number 65301 and let's just turn off uh, synchronization. Oh, it's actually asking me uh, to pick a router ID because we don't have a loopback so we'll just put a manual router ID. We'll say BGP router ID uh, let's do 1.1.84.1 one one okay so like I said let's uh, disable synchronization it should be already disabled uh, with the newer iOS versions but well, let's do it just in case and let's also uh, turn off the fast external fallover. And this basically allows us to be a little bit more lenient with occasional missed keep alives from our uh, peers. 